This task structure has been host to purpose of the Government Balingwa Primary School Konyambita in the Mbamba Ninubu Division of the Centre Region since its creation. We have even seen the vieux bâtiment qui était là. C'est là où pendant qu'il pleuvait même les enfants n'étaient pas à l'aise, même le directeur. J'ai mis le, beaucoup de temps de jeudi administratif pour couper les piquets, presser les nattes pour venir mettre. Les nattes, on est pas sans ignorer. Deux mois, trois mois, c'est déjà encore pourri. The sorry nature of this structure is a major hindrance to an effective teaching and learning at the school. We have been man managing here for the past years. So we see that the benches even they were not enough. And where it is, the sun is shining, all the children have to go on one side. And where it is raining, the children have to feed themselves on one corner. We see the first difficulties in getting where we can be able to teach them. And we were also feeling difficulties in teaching all the lessons that we have to teach them. In 2018, the government constructed a block of two classes with just two classrooms Classes 1, 2, 3 and 4 are forced to study in one section, while classes 5 and 6 study in the other. As lessons go on in both classes, the challenges of teaching and learning only increases. They are not yet enough because there are only two classes. So you see, we still join up ourselves and we have been joining for the past years. For example, I'm the teacher of class 1 and 2. When I am teaching, the other ones are making noise making it difficult for the other for my children to listen very well to what i'm teaching and when the other teacher is teaching my own children are making a lot of noise today the parents and their children are gathered here to receive an additional structure constructed by the strategic humanitarian services shumas and her partners last year this school applied and uh, you can see the state of their building when they applied we thought that they were really in need uh, we came and did the feasibility studies, and then we, uh, they scored uh, in the area of need, they scored very well. In the area of local participation, they scored very well. So we decided to put them within our 2019 budget. We helped them construct uh, two classrooms, uh, an office, and then a, a toilet block. And uh, this is actually the seat school that we are building in, uh, in Bame Nobu subdivision. The division is just me. The school as it was, I don't know if you can call it a school because it was just a broken down hut really. This, this is where children need education. Um, I am so motivated. This is my third trip to Cameroon. It's the third school my family are funded and it probably won't be the last. It's, it's so inspiring. You know, this, this gives hope. It gives hope to the children, it gives hope to the teachers, hope to the community. For the first time in nine years, the institution gets a toilet. The head teacher, who is also the loan teacher, also gets an office. The government bilingual primary school Kuyambeta still has an urgent need for teachers, portable water, a playground, and access roads. <laughs>